we're going to talk about one of our hometown teams, the Brooklyn Nets. And on draft night, with the number 22 pick, they chose Jared Allen. But prior to the draft, they acquired D'Angelo Russell and, and Timofey Mozgov from the Lakers in exchange for Brooke Lopez and a first round draft pick. Do you think that the Brooklyn culture will be a benefit for D'Angelo Russell? And him? I think as far as the Nets letting him grow as a player, I think that this is a good fit for him. Playing with Jeremy Lin, who has said he's very excited about the possibility or not the possibility, about the reality of having Russell come and play in the backcourt with him. And Kenny Atkinson has proven in the past, not necessarily as a head coach, but as an assistant coach, that he works very well with guards. So I think that the shift also to playing in the Eastern Conference, where he has to compare to going out and slugging out in the West every night, I think that will also benefit him as well. So I think you know what the Nets have done as far as making some of these moves in the offseason, this has been the key, Russell bringing him in here. And now, again, we, we, we talk about his youth and his inexperience, but hopefully this maybe could turn into something that's going to be his benefit. As far as being part of you know really the Brooklyn culture, I think that it, it's a perfect place for him to be. I, I really miss Brooke Lopez, I really think that he would be really great in taking him under his wing. But I think Jeremy Lin, and there's very, you know, I'm very biased, but, you know, there are definitely a lot of upstanding um, teammates on the Brooklyn Nets. So any one of them, I'm sure, would be able to be a positive influence on D'Angelo. So um, I, and in Brooklyn itself, the culture is very young, it's vibrant, it's hip, and I think he'll be fine.